Assalamualaikum Peace be upon you Frida Sai Mit Oi On this video I'm going to explain my understanding of electricity based on my observation Do not take this information as a scientific truth Please prove this information yourself before you accept or deny it I'm going to split this into three parts. First, static potential. Second, alternating potential. And third, resonant system. For this purpose, I will use water as analogy. Let's start with the uh, first part. Here, I have um, two water containers with a different height and between the uh, two containers um, there is a uh, connection, water connection with um, load um, in between. Of course, uh, there is a air breather here so that we can um, let water flow from the uh, higher um, position to the lower position and the uh, generation of um, this uh, static potential can be done by friction and the example of the uh, generator or machine are Wimshurst machine von der Graf generator and Holtz machine okay the position stays the same the uh, water can only flow from the higher position to the uh, lower position and you have to pump you have to pump the water again from lower position to higher position in order to uh, power a load and again you can generate the uh, um, you can separate the charge with friction and you can think of the uh, earth, block, earth uh, ball the friction between the earth and the uh, atmosphere that's why we all always have um, potential difference between the earth and atmosphere okay now let's go on to the uh, second part this is the alternating potential here I have again two water container and here I have uh, the uh, uh, pivot point so you can change the uh, position from this to this in this system you have to push one side um, of the water container up for example the, the left one goes up and you have to hold it and then the water flows from the uh, higher um, position to the lower position and you can power the load using this flow okay 
and if the water is uh, empty on this side you have to push the, the right side higher and you have to hold this uh, in this position in this way you can uh, let the water on the right side flow flows to the uh, left side okay again push hold push hold push hold push hold in electricity you can generate this flow by changing magnetic field and the example for it is a AC system okay now let's go on to the uh, third part resonance system it looks almost the same I have here two water containers here I have pivot point I have water connection between two containers and I have an additional component which is mass with this mass we don't have to hold the uh, position of water container on one position or another we can just push this for example uh, push this one down and let the mass do the job of course with gravity it will oscillates by itself okay what we have to do is only give it a push in the right direction and on the right time okay on that way you can let the water flows flows uh, from the right to left or the left to right okay and in electrical system you can generate this power by precisely timed pulses and this can be magnetic pulse or electric pulse so you have two possibilities on the uh, alternating potential you only have one possibility only changing magnetic field okay and here I have another drawing okay this is the uh, pendulum um, how you call it um, pendulum uh, analogy and here I have another analogy we have two uh, stationary base and this is a uh, spring and this is water container and on the uh, this water con container I have a mass and on the uh, right side I have fixed height water container position so if I pull this down 
and then let it go. It will just oscillate. It will just oscillate up and down. And what we have to do is only give give it a push or a pull. Um, on the right moment. Okay. Now I'm going to explain the uh, standing wave on resonance system with water energy. For example, we have a water container here, and this is from just from from this side looks like this and if you give a pulse to the container or to the water on the right time you can get this um, kind of effect for example on the center the water will go up and down until maximum position and also on this side will go up and down to the maximum position and this is the uh, analogy of standing wave using water and one more thing um, if you can remember my old video showing me um, powering a 230 volt light bulb only by touching one um, connection one connector of the uh, light bulb and the other is connected to the ground and the explanation is like this if you have a Tesla coil you can build up a uh, very high potential with this potential you can um, influence objects around you so for this example I have two metal balls one ball as a uh, top load of the uh, Tesla coil and the other one just floating nearby the, uh, the other ball. This can be uh, any object, including my body. So, as you know, the uh, potential of this ball changes from very high positive to the uh, very low negative or very positive to the very negative and any object has positive and negative charge with this um, situation um, at the moment where this um, top load is negative this side will be positive and the other side will be negative and if this top load is positive this side will be negative and this side will be positive so the positive and negative charges are 
um, oscillating from that side to that side to this side okay that's why um, we don't feel any electrical shock or something like that because the charge um, moves uh, inside our body okay and this um, potential stays the same only um, my left hand potential changes from positive to negative so that's why you can power a uh, light bulb okay I think that's it for now I hope I can explain my understanding uh, about electricity um, to you and until next video bye bye